is getting everything together for this Android head project. Got this at Valley Village, uh, $3, something like that. Got out a couple of servos, going to make a pan and tilt base. Shouldn't be too bad. Realize I didn't have the latest version of Arduino software, so that's getting upgraded. And basically just scattered out all my um, whatever parts I had available. A lot of electronics collected over the years, extra little bits and pieces from all my spark fun and Adafruit boxes, but uh, uh, it's moments like this you're glad you have those extra pieces you don't know why you ordered in the first place and then one day it all makes sense. So um, just getting the glue gun warmed up, going to test out the servos before I glue them together into a pan and tilt. It's going to be a real simple mechanism for the pan and tilt. Just going to simply glue them together. That's it. It's kind of hard to see in this light, but come look how cool this is. It's a little darker back here. Oh, automatic lights. Let's try going over here. You can see she looks pretty cool. We could stick that up a little further. There's even a little bit of a glow coming through the eyes. But uh, that's a pretty neat little feature. I think we're going to have to work that into the, the build plan. What might I ask are you boys doing? We're uh, working our way into her pen. Dissecting the bone. A little lower. Getting the ear. There's something in the middle. It's probably blue. Well, maybe. <laughs> That's a possibility. Look at this There's a lot mess. of light coming in through there. Mm-hmm. <laughs> That's pretty lined up. Is that pretty good? A little off. Okay, you're going too far dead. Tell me that. Oh. Well, it's going to get in. <laughs> <laughs> so far, surgery seems to have been going perfectly. The of the tool. <laughs> Put it in reverse. <laughs> Chewed up her eye a bit. All right, both the TMP thirty six and the RGB diffused LED are both ready for their heat shrink, which uh, we're just waiting to arrive. And was uh, they're ready to go. The one other thing we did is we hollowed out a sinus cavity. You can't really see it here. Here, let me adjust the focus. So we can get it nice and close up. We adjust. We created a sinus cavity and a little hole or two in her nostrils. So we're going to insert the temperature sensor in her nostrils where there's going to be where there's the ability for airflow. So we'll get a, a, a nice room temperature reading. And 
the LED, the diffused LED is going to be inserted in her eye and it will convey not quite emotion but it will convey information um, a lot like how uh, people convey uh, body language through uh, their eye signals and then the webcam will be inserted in that eye. Well we got the head working. I'm just going to do a serial monitor here. Just some simple commands to control the servos and the, and the lights. So head is ready. Go ahead and type some commands there. So move down. Actually, at this point, I don't have it doing facial recognition or anything like that. It's just simply looking for a red box. When it finds the red box, it uh, turns its eye green. And if we move the box, let's start moving it. It turns yellow and starts trying to follow it. When it finds it, it should turn green again. <laughs> 